Aha, we are talking about conscious uncoupling and the topic for this video is core escalation mistakes that you can make when uh, you are in uh, transitioning out of a relationship. So the reason why this is very important is because in the process of uncoupling, in the process of breaking up, you can decide if you are going to do that peacefully or if it's going to be a freaking war okay and this is a decision the process of transitioning to being single again or entering into a new relationship is something that can happen really peacefully harmoniously or it can escalate into a blown out war conflict uh, friction that goes on and is, is going to drain your energy sometimes for months, sometimes for years, okay? Entering into a divorce battle that drags the leftovers of your relationship for years might not be a good idea. And even if you were not married, you know, suppose that you don't have a business together, you don't live together, you don't have a house, it's just a breakup. That breakup zone that dissolution process can be extremely painful for both partners. You know, you can go on social networks, you can go right there on Facebook and start, you know, publicly shaming your ex, attacking them, spreading lies about them, character attack, character assassination. There is a whole lot of things that you can do there that are going to be hurtful for each other. And if you attack your partner, and then your partner fights back, then here we go, you have an ongoing battle. You will have parties, people are going to join that side, other people are going to join that side, and then by the end of this battle, nobody will win. Because the truth is that nobody's guilty. You co-created a relationship, you co-create a dissolution, both parties are guilty of something, and pointing out and blaming each other, and finger pointing and attacking and entering into this bashing campaign or public shaming campaign online, for instance, might be an escalation that you don't want to, uh, to engage into. And so, again, we are talking about conscious uncoupling. Conscious means being aware of what you're doing. If this is still something you want to do, you're free to do so. I simply tell you that it's a very tricky territory and that if you start attacking each other, especially if you are both if you both have lots of firing power and lots of understanding and lots of lots of energy, you might um, break each other in the process and kind of create an annihilation process that is that is pretty intense. And so, you know, those are core escalation mistakes. Um, another core escalation mistake is to spread, you know, lies. Um, the public shaming can take a form which is more subtle within close social circles and so on. So that's basically all these things are escalation, escalation of the conflict. You start involving other people, you start involving a, a sphere of influence that you, that you have in your field, and then you start hitting um, you know, your ex-partner or your relationship with uh, vindictive tactics. Um, you know, other escalation things, uh, spying, harassing, entering into systematic conflict, you know, entering into conflict by, by messenger, you know, it's dragging you, it's draining. Some of this is not going to be an escalation because, you know, you don't involve a sphere which is vaster. For instance, if you uh, send a nasty email or text message to an ex, you know, this might stay within the limits of of what you share, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. Escalation means, you know, for instance, you take somebody to court or you go into the, 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 the higher level of, um, of conflicting energies. And this is, can, you know, can potentially really, really hurt you as an individual and hurt your partner. And uh, my guess is that it's not really what you want. You want to, as much as possible, uh, find harmonious transition uh, things and if there is an emotion that you are feeling inside you know like you feel frustrated or angry using that anger as a retaliation source to attack your ex um, you know that's it you go that way it's gonna be a war it's gonna be an ongoing conflict unless the conflict dissolves pretty fast but um, you want as much as possible contact
contain whatever conflict is going in there. And if you want to engage into what I call a vital fight, you know, come face to face and be like, blast each other with whatever resentment and whatever anger you have towards each other, um, that's something that you can do, it's possible. And there are ways to do that in a, in a conscious way. But basically, you know, escalation, if you go there, if you start going on social networks, you start going into court, you start involving a bigger sphere, then that's probably going to hurt you both and uh, you might have to pay the price for that. Yeah. That's it for now. <laughs>